Well, how do you do, buckaroos? How the heck are you? So I have one I haven't had before uh, from Logboat Brewing out of Columbia, Missouri. Logboat uh, described, uh, it's called Lookout uh, Pale Ale, described as an American Pale Ale. 5.5%, 30 IBUs with an orange blossom hop character and a clean malt finish. It's, this is paired with a clean malt body, the perfect companion for piloting a river. So there you go. I've been to their brewery once. I really like it out there. Uh, they're, they're doing some fine beers, in my opinion. You can't? Yeah, oh wow. Uh, orange blossom hop character. Yeah, you really can't get that on the nose, that's for sure. Orange blossom. Yes, orange blossom. Definitely orange blossom. <laughs> Go Rain Man on you for a second there. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's gorgeous. Oh, yeah. Slightly cloudy, but not, uh, you know, not murky, just cloudy. There is a difference. Yeah, I'll, I'll agree with them. Yeah, orange blossom, clean malt body. Why the hell not? Seems to make sense. Uh, yeah, it's very good. We were up in Columbia yesterday uh, for for a wedding, uh, the son of a uh, of a close friend. So uh, while I was there, I bought a. I didn't buy a lot of beer. Actually, only about two six packs, because um, well, everything else there I can get here. So there wasn't a. Uh, a, a point to really uh, load up, but uh, I hadn't had this one before, so I wanted to try it. I got this one and another one from them called Shiphead, which is uh, a spiced ale, so I'll, I'll do that one later. But I wanted to start with this APA as uh, as I'm, I got some coals in the chimney. Keep my heat steady uh, for my grill here. I've just... Uh, at the moment, uh, well, I had some squash on there that I pulled off. I'm getting ready to pull the corn off. I just put some Brussels sprouts on. Yeah, a lot of veg going on today. Uh, there's a, a market up there called Lucky's Market, and their produce looks so much better than any produce I can get here in town that we tend to load up when we're out there. So we got a bunch of stuff. And we got the, uh, we got some acorn squash. We got some corn, Brussels sprouts. I'm the only one in the family that likes them. But they're so much better there than when I buy them here, so I went ahead and got some. There's a trick to doing Brussels sprouts, so I mean, uh, it's been trendy lately to, to half of them cook them with bacon. There's nothing wrong with that. In fact, I've got a similar, it's kind of what I've got going on here. But there is a trick to really get your Brussels sprouts right, and it's blanching. People have problems with Brussels sprouts, Brussels sprouts, Brussels sprouts being bitter. Well, what you do is you blanch them for four minutes. That's what I do anyway. I blanch them for four minutes. I put them in an ice bath, and then I, you know, I cut the ends off. I take the outer leaves off, and then half of them do them however you want to prep them. But that's really the trick is is the blanching, and that really helps get that bitterness out of the Brussels sprouts. Oh, it's a great APA. Uh, yeah, I like it a lot. It works for my wheelhouse anyway. Uh, but maybe the flavors maybe aren't what's trendy these days. I'm not getting mango. I'm not getting peach. I'm not getting papaya. Uh, but what I'm getting is is just great flavor. A very clean APA. Uh, again, those orange blossom notes are just fantastic, but it just feels good, especially on a day like I'm having today. I don't know what the weather is, probably low 80s. Uh, you know, it's not too hot, not too cold. Uh, it's just right. But it, it works for a beer like this. Um, so uh, I did I had a beer earlier today from Show Me Brewing. It is their Hibiscus Grisette. Uh, Show Me, again, started as a homebrew shop. They still are a homebrew shop. But they actually have a microbrewery license as well. So uh, they, they do brew some beer over there. And they're getting more and more taps. So you can buy their great microbrew beer. Um, and this hibiscus grisette was very interesting. But now I'm having the log boat, baby. So I've got a steak I'm going to get on later. I don't know if we're going to have company or not. Uh, it is possible that my... Uh, 
uh, that our daughter and uh, grandchildren come, but I'm not sure if they're coming. So basically, I've got a lot of stuff going on, but not a lot of, you know, actually there's plenty of squash, there's a whole bunch of corn, but I'm only doing one steak because it was, it was rather nice sized, and I'd rather keep the vegetable portions large, the meat portion a little smaller. So I'm going to put the steak on, so if they come up, I'm, I'm going to, you know, I'm just going to cook it, then I'll slice it up and portion it out for everybody. It's kind of what we do. But I've got enough other stuff to fill folks up. Again, there's there's a lot of corn, there's squash, uh, right? Uh, there's Brussels sprouts. I've also got some mushrooms. I'm gonna put on mush. I got some mushrooms and shallots. I'm gonna go on. I'm gonna saute them, and then I'm gonna put them on top of the steak. You see, you see, <laughs> you see what I'm doing, man. This is the day before Labor Day, as I do this video Labor Day weekend. So it's been, become a tradition for me over the last few years to do these do a series of videos over Labor Day not just about the beer not just, you know I don't really do beer reviews anyway but it's not just about the beer it's about what else is going on I kind of like to think we're having a conversation even though I'm just talking to myself Ugh. trying to be more active on my website it's been tough with work you know, and I, that's the issue with bloggers, I guess, uh, uh, us folks, uh, you know, it's, it's um, it, it is a hobby, it's not a business, I'm not making any money off of it, so, but yeah, you know, I, I haven't been updating it as much as I would like. I recently put a new article on there, um, which I think is going to be the direction I'm going to go with. When I started this thing, um, I had an idea, but I really wasn't sure of the direction, I just started writing different things, but... But now with the latest article, I think I have an idea of the direction that I want to go, which is kind of uh, no direction. <laughs> now I want to kind of do, you know, I don't know what the right word is, kind of, um, I don't know if folksy is the right word. I just want to, you know, this latest article, basically I just talk about having a beer and listening to some music. Um, you know, I'm not going to really get into hard-hitting stuff. I'm not going to I'm not going to try to be the... Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to try to do, you know, uh, 60, I'm not going to try to be 60 minutes of the beer world. Uh, I just want to write nice, light articles, almost like a, and, and, and write how I talk and not in, in a very non-pretentious way. So whoever that reminds you of, that's kind of what I'm going for. Uh, as this sits, you really... You really, as it warms, I probably had it in a cooler, so I probably had it a little colder than it needed to be, but because it is rather warm, it does feel refreshing even at a warmer temperature, uh, even at a colder temperature, I meant to say, but as it warms, uh, there are other flavors that are coming through. And as, as typical, as a beer like this, warm, as any beer warms up, to be honest with you, uh, the, the, the flavors, the aromas, they tend to be more cohesive. I've noticed when I've had beers colder, a little colder than they should be, I get the notes a little sharper. So I don't mind starting colder because I want to see what it does. And they feel more cohesive as it warms. That's kind of what this one's doing for me. Before I was feeling I was feeling the, the, the orange blossom hops and then the malt's kind of separate. Now I'm kind of feeling it all together. But it, it's it's aromatically uh, extremely pleasing. It's it very enjoyable. Just just the nose on this makes me happy all over. Oh yeah, babe, that was tasty. So I've got Shiphead from Logboat. I'm going to be out shortly with that. I hope you all are having a fine Labor Day. This time to beer whisper. <coughs> Excuse me. Goodness gracious. This is Tom the Beer Whisper choking to death. Uh, and we'll talk to you later.